This is your AESH Weekly News Minute for Tuesday, May 16, 2023. Energy News. Oil giant Saudi Aramco posts 19% drop in first quarter profit. State oil giant Saudi Aramco on Tuesday reported a 19% drop in its first quarter earnings, recording net income of $31.9 billion, down from $39.5 billion the previous year, amid falling oil prices. Analysts expected to see a dip in net profit in its most recent quarter, compared with the previous year, as inflation and rising interest rates pressure global demand and stoke fears of a recession. Still, Aramco's net income beat expectations of $30.5 billion, which was forecast by analysts polled by Reuters. The company's net profit was up 3.75% from the fourth quarter, according to Reuters. It said that the weaker earnings result was offset by lower taxes and higher finance and other income. Aramco's shares rose 3.2% in early trading in Riyadh on Tuesday. Logistics and Transportation News Scania has announced it is introducing a major update of its CCAP system, Cruise Control with Active Prediction, for Scania OptiCruise. The manufacturer says the new system will be included on all Scania trucks with the G25 and G33 gearboxes from June. Scania adds that the update can also be retrofitted on trucks with the super-based powertrain. According to the well-known truck manufacturer, the updated system benefits from vastly increased computing capacity, smarter algorithms, and optimized use of map data. Thanks to this, Scania says trucks with the new CCAP system can reach additional fuel savings of up to 2% on undulated roads, while typically still maintaining the same average speed. In a press release, Scania boasts of the system's ability to look ahead and plan the optimal way for a truck to manage uphill and downhill stretches using topographical map data. The manufacturer says the aim of this is to avoid all kinds of unnecessary braking and to always strive for using the optimal gear without frequent gear shifts. Last but not least, the system also takes advantage of the truck's kinetic energy, e.g. created when rolling over hill crests. Technology News the company started in 2018 to build a single Ethernet network in the car that would be the backbone for these new vehicles. Silicon Valley automotive Ethernet chip startup Ethernovia Inc. has raised $64 million in a Series A funding round, including from Porsche Automobile Holding SE, Qualcomm Ventures, VentureTech Alliance, and others, the Ethernet chip startup said. The funding will be used to continue developing the products and to build up a team for marketing, sales, and customer support, the company said, but declined to share the latest company valuation. Automakers are revamping the electronics to eliminate dozens of cables that crisscross the car, linking up over 100 microchips, as they pivot to electric vehicles with more driver assistance functions. Instead, to control everything from the camera and radar sensors to the windows and the entertainment dashboard, they are building a central computer. Raman Sharani, Ethernovia's co-founder and CEO, said he started the company in 2018 to build a single Ethernet network in the car that would be the backbone for these new vehicles. We're not the brains of the car. We're not the sensors in the car. But anything that connects the brains to the sensors, that's where we are, Sharani said. Finance News. G7 finance chiefs unite to condemn Russia and counter China. Under the shadow of swelling risks to the global economy, finance chiefs from the world's wealthy nations presented a united front with more support for Ukraine, a plan for diversifying supply chains, and a vow to fill gaps in financial regulation. The group of seven Zs in agreeing on a statement after three days of talks in Niigata, Japan, was in stark contrast with the discord seen at the group of 20 finance ministers and central bank governors meeting in Bengaluru, India, less than three months earlier, which ended without the usual communique. The difference? No China or Russia. While condemnation of Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine was front and center of the 14-page statement, China didn't get a direct mention. Yet there were thinly veiled plans to counter its dominance of global supply chains and growing sway over the global south. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen couldn't escape the debt ceiling impasse. In an interview with Bloomberg Television, she said the federal government will have to renege on some payments if Congress doesn't raise the debt limit. Global News Headlines UK pledges drones to Ukraine as Zelensky makes surprise visit. The Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky, has arrived at Chequers for substantive negotiations with the UK Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak. In an early morning message as he landed in the UK, Zelensky confirmed he would meet my friend Rishi. Number 10 confirmed Zelensky had arrived in Britain and would meet Sunak at his Chequers country residence in Buckinghamshire. 
It also announced further military aid for Ukraine in the form of hundreds of air defense missiles and long-range attack drones with a range of more than 200 kilometers. Today the Prime Minister will confirm the further UK provision of hundreds of air defense missiles and further unmanned aerial systems, including hundreds of new long-range attack drones with a range of over 200 kilometers, the UK government said in a statement. These will all be delivered over the coming months as Ukraine prepares to intensify its resistance to the ongoing Russian invasion. This has been your AISH Weekly News Minute for Tuesday, May 16, 2023. If you want more global energy news and real-time alerts, hit the subscribe button now and follow us on social media.